So the boffins are here. They've made it through to the final of the University Challenge. Infinity from Aberystwyth University and from Loughborough Tiberius 3. And an eminent man himself has joined me up here in the Crow's Nest, Professor Noel Sharkey from Sheffield University. Welcome to my world. Thank um, you. Are the students just wasting our time, wasting their time, or are they learning something? No, I think they learn quite a lot from this. And they're not quite boffins yet, by the way. <laughs> Give them time. Yeah, they learn a lot. I mean, they learn how to bring a product into the real world and make it work in real time rather than little bitty projects that they might do at university. But I think one of the most important things to learn is about how cooperation and competition work together. In the arena, they're highly competitive. Out in, out in the pits, it's a very, very cooperative atmosphere with everybody helping each other. And it's good to see how, when you go into the workplace, how those two elements can s exist side by side. And what about the strengths of these two? Well, uh, the Aberystwyth with one, Infinity can turn over and still drive, so it doesn't need self-writing, it runs both sides. Claws are a bit weak, I'd say, a bit bendy. Diamond tips, but the, you know, the structure itself's a bit bendy. Tiberius, not totally original, it's a razor derivative, if you, you can see that. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's a lot slower than the razor, a lot less pressure, and not nearly as manoeuvrable. Still, for me, I'm going to go with the Emperor Tiberius. The fabled ferocious dragon of Wales. Aberystwyth University, represented by the Infinity team. Let's just have a little look at these crushers now, shall we? They, they're not seen, quite the gnashing teeth. They've seen better days. Well, yeah. yesterday was a better day for them. Well, they are, they are slightly skew whiff after the a last little. battle, aren't they? Yes, a little. Somebody's been in there with a hammer, trying to straighten them out. It trying to straighten worked. them. It hasn't worked, no. <laughs> How do you feel about this final? Because uh, honour is at stake. The honour of the whole of Wales, if not Aberystwyth. Well, we're happy to be here. We've done better than we expected. You know, we've got to the last fight. Um, we try our best. Take it as it comes, isn't it? Have you got any chance of winning? Slim to maybe yes. to yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, OK. Well, at least there's one person who's thinking positively. <laughs> Round the corner we have Loughborough University. Sam, how goes it? Oh, very good, yeah. So the robot's in good shape. Yep. Which is more nicely. than I can say for Infinity. Have you seen the state of it? Um, yeah, they've got, the claws got a bit bent up from the last <laughs> they attack. They did, didn't they? Um, they caused you a little bit of damage, didn't they, yeah. early on? Yeah. Um, nothing much to speak of. They, they put a hole in, in a couple of places and uh, they broke a bracket at the back, but we've uh, replaced that, repaired it a lot stronger now. So right, and, it and I would say you probably don't have to worry about those claws too much. No, I don't think so. They're out of shape. So where, where do you reckon you're going to go for? Um, I think their weakness is probably in the wheels. In the wheels. <laughs> or if, if we grab between the wheels and the body work, they'll probably break. Right, you understand that's just between you, me and the nation? Yeah. <laughs> Quiet. So we reach the climax of this battle of the brains. Two robots remain, but only one can be crowned our University Challenge champions. So, hey, let the final begin. Tiberius Three. From Loughborough University, the favourites are, we guess, Sam and Stuart Smith, Craig Lawson. Infinity. I've been delighted to have got this far from the University of Wales and Aberystwyth, Carl Bater, David Sanford and Ed Butcher. Roboteers, stand by. For the University Challenge final in the arena for the house robots, shunt. Sergeant Bash, his old mate in there too. that Infinity can push for Wales. Very dogged and determined. They need to stay away from that beak of Tiberius 3. But interesting that uh, Professor Noel Sharkey agreed with me that it hasn't got great pressure, the beak. We'll see now. Tiberius 3 has again got to grips with Infinity. Infinity has to push and shove. You're seeing there Sam Smith at the controls for the Loughborough University team. And his Tiberius 3 is on the track of Infinity. Infinity trying to turn away. The quicker machine here, up to 12 miles an hour, Tiberius 3 can only muster 9 mph. But that's good driving by Sam Smith in pursuit of Infinity. Onto the angle grinder, the sparks will fly. Infinity looks patched up. Great view there of the control pods. Perched high above the arena. 
the Infinity weaponry is buckled and totally out of commission. There is no weaponry for Infinity. It's now a question of just eking out time, staying away from trouble, and to be honest, hoping that Tiberius 3 makes a bad mistake. They won't. They've got the jaw beat in on the exposed wheels. I mentioned right at the start of the programme, the wheels being exposed was a robot weakness for Infinity. Lucky to get away there. Again, an intense tactical fight is being waged out there. Infinity has to stay away from the Tiberius 3 weaponry. Can crush at a force of five tons. Highly manoeuvrable Tiberius 3, if not the quickest around the arena floor. Infinity trying to push them into the CPZ. That was interesting because Sergeant Bash, that craggy old Robot Wars veteran of many a campaign, lay lurking. Tiberius 3, this time tries to shove Infinity into a CPZ and scuttling across to meet them shut with the Diamond Edge axe blade coming hammering down. The Red Bot looks across. This is a a very tight and tense affair for the honour of the brainiest boffins of Robot Wars. And the judges, I think, are going to be called upon again here. It has not been the most brutal. It has been a wily old affair, and the judges will have to decide the winners. Infinity or Tiberius? Well, we have a tie in the University Challenge final. We're going to have to go to the judges. They'll be looking at style, control, damage and aggression. While they're making up their minds, let's review the highlights. What clues can we give you? Good aggression from Tiberius. No great damage caused whilst there. Again, aggressive. Damage sustained by Infinity, I would think. Tiberius again in control. No, for me, it has to be one winner. It has to be Tiberius 3, surely. Again on the attack. And again, Infinity taking damage. Has to be Tiberius. Well, the judges have made their decision. Style control, damage, aggression. On aggression, they've gone from you. On style, they've gone for you. They've just gone for you. The winners are Tiberius. Um, I know it was like the University Challenge final, but that was sort of like regressed to like a, a playground scuffle. We're just like pushing and shoving and a little bit of name calling, wasn't it? Um, well, we're pretty powerful and we can push most things around. Unfortunately, their shape means as soon as you go near them, our drive wheels are lifted off the floor. Yeah. So we can't push. So we didn't really have any kind of idea what we were meant to do. See, I kind of thought that you might have gone for the pit release button, opened the pit and tried to we get them in that. We're pretty cursed by the pit. We, we've been in it a few times, we don't like it. Ah, uh, so you've got a pit aversion now. Yes. Uh, well, I think everyone in Aberystwyth is going to be proud of you anyway. Well done, yeah. guys. Let's hear it! Infinity! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> University Challenge Champions! It was a bit messy, though. It was a bit... Pushy and shovy, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, we found, well, their, their top armour is, is so thick. You couldn't so penetrate it at all, could no. you? Well, we spoke to Razor beforehand and they said they, they can't get through it either. So yeah. if we had a go looking at their wheels, we got one pitch on the wheels. Unfortunately, just in the wrong direction. You could have got we, we in between the wheel and the body of the robot, yeah. didn't you? We thought we might have, if we got that right, we could have peeled it away, but they, they drove very well and, and, and made, managed to evade all the, the attacks on the wheels. So. Yeah. Well, Loughborough. They're going to be very, very proud of you. You've done them proud. Ladies and gentlemen, University Challenge champions, Tiberius 3! <laughs> well, the exams have been graded. We've tallied up the scores. And this lot can graduate from Robot Wars. Bye-bye.